Hello everybody, this is Lollipop081ME here today, and welcome to another episode of Lollipop Speed Art. And continuing on with the grandchildren of Queen Victoria, well, the famous ones in my opinion, this is Maud. She is the youngest daughter, she was the youngest daughter of King Edward VII and Queen Alexandra. And... She ended up marrying King Holcomb the Seventh of Norway, and yes, obviously she was Queen of Norway, and she was a tomboy, in a sense. She was born in 1869, and all that great chiz and all that whatnot. They had one son, uh, Prince Alexander, who became King Olaf the Fifth of Norway. And she's thus the grandmother of King Harald V of Norway. And by the way, he knows how to speak English with... He actually speaks English with an American accent. So, she was the first queen of Norway in over 500 years that wasn't also a queen of Denmark and Sweden. You know, the Kalamar Union, my lovelies. So, basically, Maud was nicknamed Harry by one of Edward's uh, a, a friend, Admiral uh, Henry Keppel. And she was also a fashion... Basically, when she got to Norway, like, at first it was like, eh, I'm homesick, um, Britain is still my true home. But she learned uh, Norwegian, the uh, Norwegian language the language of Norway and also learned how to ski and she's got a lot of legacy to her she has Queen Maud Land and Queen Maud Mountains in Antarctica she also has uh, a secondary school called Queen Maud Secondary School in Hong Kong and the Queen Maud Gulf in none of it Canada Canada and she also has a ship named after her that was sailed into the Arctic and many, many more. Now, anyways, I based my interpretation, my uh, take on Maud from two photograph, a photograph of her and the outfit that she wore in 1909. So, yes, we are coming into the um, the Victor. We're getting into the Edwardian era now for some of these um, th these granddaughters and their generation, you know, in the, uh, modern era. So, I had a, I actually made a little tiny mistake. I put the, uh, the embroidery type thing on the line art layer, but whatever. I did it right. I actually, it was like, I'm gonna just leave it. I'm gonna get to the shading and the highlighting in a bit. So, really, she pretty much looks like for me, she looks a lot like, um, she looks, she leans more heavily on the Danish side, but anyways, I think I did a pretty decent job. The final piece is up on my DeviantArt at Lollipop1ME, don't forget to follow me on my other social media links, Twitter, Instagram, and Reddit, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, I post videos like this every Fridays and Saturdays. And I hope you hit this bell and whatnot. I'll see you next time.